So for those of you who are trying to conquer the double thumb technique, it might be a little strange when you get into playing different rhythms into different scales and different patterns and things like that. So let me show you a little trick to help you with the downstroke and the upstroke pattern. So take a C major scale. Now, mind you, when you're slapping this, you're doing the downstroke upstroke for the downstroke. You're doing the first string, the A string down next note going up now the next string you have to go through that string now you're not at the a string anymore you're going down to the d string to hit that e on the second fret now the second note on that string you have to do an up down now where do we go from here because the next note is an a but i just had a down stroke here so when it comes to that point or come to that cross or fork in the road what do you do so i'm going through the d string and the g string at the same time let me let me actually show you exactly what it, this looks like from another angle okay so from this angle you can see above me i'm going through the d string and through the g string so when i hit that d string going through and now i'm hitting it back up for the next note on the g strings for that a on the d string so it's going to be down up down up down through both strings and then up okay so that's a nice little trick you can use to hit that string so down through both strings and then up okay hopefully that makes sense okay so now that we finished that part of the line so we got down up down up down through both strings up down Okay, so now going back down, I understand that it's another problem. You come into another dilemma when you're going and descending the scale or this exercise or whatever it is. It could be anything. So the trick that I like to use for that is actually, yeah, two different tricks. So it's actually going downstroke through both strings for ascending. Now I'm going to show you how to descend this. Uh, we end on a... Okay, so now we're going to use a downstroke for that first note. Okay, so now we have down, up, down for the A. Now our G string, where the heck do we go? Because now we have, now we have to go through two strings again to do an upstroke for the G. You can do that. It is possible. It's not gonna sound as clean. So let me show you. So let's double that note at the end. It's a very awkward movement and you have to get it right on point to get it in the rhythm. So I really don't like to do it like that. I use a different method. This was really a lazy method, I, I guess. Well, I don't know if it's smart or lazy or not, but it's a method that I use to make it sound a little bit cleaner to try to play lines like this. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the, so we, one, two, 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 two. let me make sure I end on the right, right note. So down on the next string, or down on that next note, up, down. Pay close attention to what I just did. You might have missed it, but I just played it. Okay. So we have down, up, down, down. Did you catch what I did? So what I did, I didn't even do an upstroke for that. I used a hammer on on my left hand. seamless is a real real tricky move to try to do that so let me show you exactly what i'm doing with another angle really quick so we're going down on that string we got down up down then hammer on okay so down up down then hammer on on the d string okay i'm going to show you the other angle okay now let me show you the other angle exactly what i'm doing and my left hand what i'm doing here so let's zoom in in the camera a little bit just so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So right hand down, up, down. Now left hand, check it out. Hammer on with my fourth finger. Let's do that again. Down, up, down, hammer on. Okay. So that's the small little trick that you can do. The rest of it actually lands pretty nicely. So you have down, up, down, hammer on. Now you can just pick your thumb up or pick your hand up and let's do a downstroke. Up, down, up. 
So hopefully that made sense a little bit. Hopefully seeing it a little bit closer can help you identify with this technique. Um, take it slow. It's not easy. It's not a simple technique. It's really, really awkward in the beginning, but the more you practice it, the more you just, you're going to execute. Okay. So make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. Take it nice and slow. If you guys have any questions and or comments, do what you usually do down in the comments and uh, hit me up and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>